Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, here on the floor of Telecom Exchange NYC 2016. Joining me here today is my friend, Mr. Al DiGabriel. He's the SVP of Product Management and Marketing over at Hibernia Networks. Al, thanks for coming to JSA TV. My pleasure. Great to be here. So we have exciting news today. It's an exciting time in general for Hibernia Networks. We're coming off a third award, not just one or two, but three awards for Hibernia Express. Of course, your flagship submarine cable offering the lowest latency available across the Atlantic. Can you give us a little update about the system? Absolutely, I'd be glad to. And we are uh, obviously honored to be uh, recognized for uh, Project Express again uh, with the GTB award, but uh, you know, it's been great. It's been uh, almost nine months now since we launched Hibernia Express. And the, up to, the uptake has been uh, tremendous. This is you know, clearly one of the fastest growing corridors uh, in the world in terms of traffic between uh, New York and London. And uh, the bandwidth demand continues to grow year over year. We've seen tremendous uptick, obviously, from customers that uh, have latency sensitive needs for their business, uh, customers in the financial services markets and media and broadcasting. But we're also seeing great uptick from the large OTTs and the web-centric companies who really are looking for you know, the scalability that Express delivers. Uh, and, you know, even from uh, the carriers and the service provider market, Hi you know, Hibernia Express truly offers a diverse play uh, in the water today. So, you know, clearly good, good uptick all the way around, and we're really excited about it. Yeah. And reason for excitement, for sure, it is fast, high-performance capacity. Some of the other routes and regions that Hibernia Networks uh, is targeting with their low latency, could you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. So, you know, with Express, it really does open up quite a few doors for us. You know, Express remains, to, you know, remains the anchor or the core for our for expanding our network, uh, particularly in the low latency marketplace. Uh, we're seeing, you know, March we announced uh, the opening up of Dubai, mm -hmm. uh, which is a, a you know financial and a media hub in the Middle East. So that that offers uh, you know quite a bit of opportunity for us there. But we're also seeing a, a tremendous amount of interest in. The financial markets in Asia, like Tokyo and Singapore and Seoul, uh, you know, uh, expanding uh, our financial market services capabilities into um, Mumbai, Moscow, Singapore. Uh, uh, you know, we're we're definitely seeing uptake. So, you know, we expect to continue to expand our our low latency offer just to serve those needs of those customers. Talking finance. Hibernia recently announced 165 million dollars of refinancing. What's that significance, both on the business side as well as, of course, the financial standpoint? We're uh, obviously very excited about the refile as well. So we closed that in May, and essentially, at, at, you know, at the core of it, it uh, you know it, it reduces our cost of capital by nearly half, which is a significant impact and benefit to our to our balance sheet for sure. Uh, but beyond that, it really opens up the opportunity for us to invest back in the business, whether or organically or inorganically, it, it, it you know gives us that flexibility and that opportunity to continue to grow. Uh, the other the other piece to note here is as we went through the refi process, uh, the exciting piece was you know the quality of the and the interest from the lender the lending community. So uh, you know all in all, it was just reinforcement of of the business performance that we've had to date. Now going to uh, back into the subsea. Uh, uh, perspective here. It's it's starting to seem like a crowded field. There's a lot of players out there. But Hibernia Express, very, very unique, very different. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your key differentiators? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we, uh, you know, we differentiate ourselves on a, a handful of parameters. You know, number one, obviously, you mentioned Express, and that delivers latency. You know, we, we do have uh, latency advantages in, in the markets that we serve. Uh, and, and, you know, that translates to bottom line, you know, profits for our customer base. And they're starting to realize that whether it is financial services firms, whether it is, you know, e-commerce companies, you know, clearly there's a benefit there for them. And they're starting to realize the impact that latency provides. You know, in addition, you know, the other pillar of our differentiation is really our ability to scale, right? With newer technology, we're enabling customers to grow as their business needs grow. You know, we also offer flexibility and agility, some things that, you know, our competitors don't offer, and that truly sets us apart in the marketplace. Right, yeah. And I can speak firsthand that Hibernia Networks, a flexible, agile company, easy to work with, so uh, give the JSA vouch there. 
Um, now, one last question for you as an executive of the company and as you peer into your crystal ball, what's ahead for Hibernia in the next six to 12 months? <laughs> well, we've got a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of opportunity in front of us and we'll continue to, you know, to leverage our, our network and our asset to continue to invest back into it and continue to expand our product capabilities and, and meet the needs of our customer demands. Uh, you know, part and parcel to what we're doing, uh, you know, as, as we go forward is, you know, continuing to invest in our product suite. And a lot of that's based on the market demand and our customer needs. Uh, you know, we announced in uh, last month our protected wavelength service, enhancing our uh, best in class optical transport capability. Uh, back in April, we announced our 4K UHD offer. Uh, so, you know, we continually invest in that product suite and our product capabilities uh, going forward. You know, from a network perspective, you know, we talked a little bit about exp extending our, our low latency capabilities. Uh, you know, we'll continue to invest in the network and expansion in key markets uh, driven by customer needs again. Uh, so exciting times ahead for us as we get into uh, the second half of 2016. Certainly well positioned. Thank you, Al, once again for joining us here on JSA TV. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in. If you want to learn more, HibernianNetworks.com. And check us out on JSA TV.